Job order costing is a cost accounting system in which direct costs are traced and indirect costs are allocated to unique and distinct jobs instead of departments. It is appropriate for businesses that provide non-uniform, customized, unique products and services. Job order costing is one of the two main cost accounting systems, the other being the process costing in which costs are traced and allocated first to the different processes carried out in different departments and then products and services. Many companies use costing systems that are a blend of features or both job order costing and process costing systems. One of the unique attributes of the job order costing system is that the product or service needs to be unique. Some of the companies that use job order costing include accounting, consulting, and legal firms, architects, manufacturers of ships and airplanes, book publishers, movie producers. The nature of their work is such that they are interested in finding profitability of different jobs and hence they accumulate costs with reference to different jobs like audit engagement, consulting projects, books, movies, etc. Using the job order costing system, costs are taken from control accounts of direct costs and indirect costs, such as purchases of direct materials, direct labor, and then indirect costs such as manufacturing overhead, indirect materials, and indirect labor. Costs are traced and allocated into the work in process inventory. Within the work in process inventory, costs are recorded on job cost records. Each job will have a job identification number which will record the individual cost for that job. After jobs are completed, they will be transferred into the finished goods inventory and then when sales take place, when revenue is collected, the cost of goods sold is recorded on the income statement. All right, let's try it out for ourselves. For an example problem, Dynamic Systems Incorporated received an order to manufacture a customized airplane for the official use of the President of Pakistan. Dyna Dynamic Systems will charge an amount equal to the cost of the airplane plus a 30% profit margin on the cost of the government of Pakistan. The job code is PK03. Since the manufacture of the airplane is a one-off unique project, job order costing is the most appropriate cost accumulation system. Let us post the required journal entries in the DS costing system. For number one, Dynamic Systems Incorporated purchases raw materials and places them in a control account. Materials inventory is debited and accounts payable is credited for $4 million. For number two, $2.8 million worth of raw materials are requisitioned and used in the project as direct materials. Work in process is debited for job number PK03, $2.8 million, and materials inventory control account is credited for $2.8 million. For number three, $400,000 worth of manufacturing over raw materials are used as indirect materials. Therefore, manufacturing overheads are debited $400,000, and inventories are credited $400,000. For number four, Total direct labor hours consumed on the job cost $3 million. The amount in wages is already paid. Work in process is debited for job PK03, $3 million, and cash is credited $3 million. For number five, indirect labor hours relevant to the project cost $1 million. Manufacturing overheads are debited $1 million, and cash is credited $1 million. Lastly, for number six, other indirect costs yet to be paid were $2.5 million. Manufacturing overheads, once again, is debited for $2.5 million, and accounts payable is credited $2.5 million. For number seven, manufacturing overheads are charged to the jobs at 100% of direct labor costs. This is the predetermined manufacturing overhead application rate. 100% of the $3 million 
direct labor costs are applied to work in process job number PK03 and manufacturing overheads are credited $3 million. Now that the job has been completed, the cost of PK03 is transferred from work in progress to finished goods on its completion at a total cost of $8.8 .8 million. This equals the direct materials cost of $2.8 million plus direct labor costs of $3 million and applied manufacturing overheads of $3 million. Finished goods are debited $8.8 .8 million and work in process is credited $8.8 .8 million. Revenue is recorded at $11.4 million. This equals $8.8 .8 million times 1.3 or the 30% markup rate of the job. For number 10, actual manufacturing overheads are $3.9 million. This is equal to the indirect materials of $400,000 plus indirect labor of a million and other overheads of $2.5 million. Applied manufacturing overheads are $3 million. The $900,000 worth of manufacturing overheads under applied is taken to the cost of goods sold or income statement. Lastly, cost of goods sold is debited $900,000 and manufacturing overhead is credited $900,000. Profit on job number PK03 is $1.7 million. This is equal to the revenue of $11,440,000 minus finished goods of $8.8 .8 million and the under applied overhead adjustment of $900,000.